Do you notice what happens at the beginning of the new year? People stop smoking, fitness clubs are crowded and people are nicer to each other. New year, new me. Do you see all these motivated people one month later? Exactly. We think about what we want to achieve. We have some unclear visions in our minds and moments of motivation from time to time. But why doesn't it work? Here we're going to show you the example of a very specific and effective methodology. It might seem difficult at the beginning, but wait until the end. You'll see that it really does make sense. So let's start. First of all, find time to plan. It doesn't have to be the new year or your birthday. It might be today or next Saturday. Just find a day when you have some free time and promise yourself that you won't find any excuse. It's easy to say, I don't want to write anything, I'll do it in my head. But it doesn't work this way. Once you've found the time and motivation, write down what you want to achieve this year. Don't think about the order, priorities or obstacles. Just think about general goals. Then think about each of these goals. Try to make every one of them SMART. SMART stands for specific, measurable, actionable, realistic and time bound. It will take you from dreams to achievable goals. A simple example, it's not enough to say, I'll lose some weight. You should write, I will lose five pounds by the 31st of October, 2018. Another example, not, I want to make more money, but I'll make 5,000 euros more than last year in my annual tax report. Do you see the difference? If you have your SMART goals, try to justify each of them with five reasons. First of all, this exercise will help you find goals that are not important to you. If you can't prove their value, you shouldn't spend too much time thinking about them. Secondly, the list will help you motivate during hard times. For example, you wanted to have more money, but there are so many other things that you want to buy for yourself. You will open your list and see these reasons for saving more money. It's motivating, isn't it? Remember to plan for all the areas of your life. We tend to focus on planning our professional career or physical well-being, but we should also remember about our family, relationships, friends, mind, peace, self-development, our future, etc. Sometimes writing down, I'll meet with my old school friends, or I'll spend one evening a week for instance, a Sunday evening with my husband, or I'll read at least one book a month, will help us to focus on these areas. Now, try to put all your goals in order, from the most to the least important ones. This is a crucial part of planning. Think carefully. If you have all your goals detailed, justified and put into order, try to plan the first activity for each goal. Dividing each goal into small steps makes it easier and you'll see the progress faster. Do it like these examples. I'll lose five pounds by the 31st of October 2018. Call Tim and ask if he wants to start jogging with me. I'll make 5,000 euros more than last year in my next annual tax report. Enroll onto a managing finances course. I'll get in touch with at least five friends from school. Call Jenna and see if she wants to meet up for a coffee. And now the last step. Put the deadlines for each step of your goal into your calendar. Deadlines may be challenging, but be realistic. Read your list regularly, for example once a month. Make changes if you need and make sure you keep it updated. This is the end of this methodology. We strongly encourage you to try it. It might seem time consuming, but the results will surprise you.